Hi guys, so let's get right into the tutorial. So what you're gonna need obviously will be your closure and this one here is from Bliss Wigs and as you can see the grids within the lace, um, it's just really, really, really obvious looking. The grids are big, they don't blend, they don't look real or natural whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is this technique by Miss Bossy Live using concealer and bomb protective shield. That's it, two products. So you're gonna turn your closure inside out and or if you know your wig inside out and just get anything out the way like me i have the elastic band hair or just get in hairs out the way and two brushes one for concealer one for the bomb protective shield i'm sure you can get away with just one and concealer which i'm using elf because it's cheap and it works for me the color is right i'm pretty sure foundation could work as well so um here is the holy grail the bomb protective shield this is what's going to make your closure look like scalp as if you're making your own silk based closure all right, so I know that I'm out of focus hair, but you can still see what I'm doing. I will be in focus shortly. Just remove any hairs that is in your way and just get your brush and your concealer and get to work. So we're gonna just start by filling in the entire closure, making sure that you get the front, the back, the sides, everywhere, because you want it to be one even thing, an even layer of concealer, because you could part this anywhere once you're done and it'll look like your scalp. So, you know, we're pretty much there right now. Um, by the way, this is going to be layer one of about three to four. I'm gonna show you guys the entire process just so you see what it looks like throughout the process so that you don't freak out like, oh, this looks terrible because it is gonna look pretty wonky. But uh, once we once we get about two, three layers on there, then it'll start to look like what we're, what we're aiming for, so. I like to work in small sections, so put down your bomb protective shield and then just start to work it in. But you're not gonna push this through the closure, like through onto the hairs. You just want it to get into the holes, just push it enough. What I could, you know, compare this to is kind of like if you're bleaching your closure, you want it to get to the very, very roots of just the knots alone, but you don't want it to get onto the hair. You don't wanna over bleach it. So it's the same type of idea here. And I find that working in small sections is best and easier to get the product um, into the holes because I find that if you're working in a big area, the product tends to stick to the brush and get off of the closure where we want it to stay. And I'm really just doing this so you guys can see how I did it. Um, this could last you for a very long time. I had it on my wig for about a month and a half. I'm only doing it over for you guys. And uh, this is a blow dryer i'm just drying between layers because who has time to wait the whole process took about five minutes to do this and this is how it looks after the first layer as you could definitely see where we need to go back and work on so next step concealer again and again even though we have certain areas that we need to focus on you're still going to put concealer all over because it's all about even layers to me i feel like that's what just you know gives me the best results instead of just focusing on the areas that need it and then we're going to go back in with our Bomb Protective Shield. Again, working in small sections. And just work, 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 work. And get that in there. So after this, we're going to dry again between the second layer. And if there's any hair, as you can see here, just, you know, just pull it out. Get out your way. I missed one there. But that's okay, so drying again. Now that we're dry, you could definitely see where I still need to you know, work on, but we're almost there, guys. So conceal again. And don't forget to focus on the very front of the closure. That's important as well. Or if, you, or if you're gonna you know, intend on gluing it down, probably not, but I don't glue mine down. So this, this point where, you know, almost done to the point where I don't need to work in small sections but you can if you like you can just get into every little nook and cranny and we're gonna dry again and just remind you guys where we're coming from the very very bottom you know sometimes this happened with cheap closures but it's okay we made it work for us so here is how it looks after it's dry and here's a big reveal guys 
look at that looking like somebody's scalp i love it so um as you can see there's a huge difference it looks like scalp it has a dew to it even though it's going to dry down a little bit more than this but it's not going to go matte which is good because our scalp is not matte you know we have a little bit of dew to it you ever see a guy who has a bald head it's definitely shiny for a reason we don't have matte scalp so um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it and I hope it was quick and informative. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.